up guys and welcome to the 13th tutorial in my PHP backend and in this tutorial we're gonna restructure our application a little bit and in order to do this you will need Composer installed so if you don't have Composer installed I suggest you head to the web page and uh, just follow the documentation and look how it works so you should in order to follow along you should be able to run Composer from your terminal uh, so if you type Composer in your terminal, you should like, get an output like this, that is uh, verify that it's working. So the next thing we want to do is to want to create a couple of folders. So I'm going to start with a folder called App. And in the App folder, I'm going to create a folder called Controller. Controllers. And then one for the data. So I'll just call it Data. And this will keep uh, all that's related to data fetching. Then I'll just move move stuff in there. So in the data, the database interface lives in the data folder, and the repository and the ISQL repository also live in the data folder, like this. We keep the index file at the root. And you can see that I've also created a file called composer.json. And if you follow along with the architecture I'm building here, you could copy paste it exactly like this. But the important part is the class map, where you include all the directories that you want to autoload. And uh, it's important that this is correct, because otherwise it, the autoloading will, will not work. So. The thing that we're trying to achieve is we want to remove all the require statements. So the next thing we need to do is run a composer dump dash autoload in the terminal. And obviously you would run this from the root of your repository. Mine is located uh, in this folder, so you need to be in, in the directory. And when you run this uh, command, you will get a folder called vendor. And in this folder, you will get a couple of files. And you, it looks kind of messy if you look at the, uh, the content of the files. But you don't really need to worry about that for now. All that you have to worry about is the autoload file. And it does some crazy thing, stuff with the hash in here. And it follows the PS4 standard. So. Uh, you could look up exactly how that standard works if you're interested. But the only thing we're interested at the moment is uh, requiring this autoload file that keep a reference to all the other files. So in our index file, we can remove all the other previous include statements and just include the autoload file. So it's in the vendor folder and then in autoload.php like this. And now we should also be able to remove all the uh, the require statements in, in the other files. All of these. So, so let's save everything and try to run it, see if it runs, and it does. Awesome. And one last thing before we before we're done, I think it's also a good idea to get ignore the vendor file, uh, the folder, because uh, it's going to change a lot. And if you recompile, it's going to complain that there's changes in it, even though you just compiled it. So this vendor folder will also keep all our libraries that we include from, for example, packagized or something like that, if we do composer install stuff. So we want to get ignore the file, uh, the folder in here as well. All right, so uh, this was all that we've gone through in this tutorial. So this will make the product a little bit more manageable as we can organize stuff in folders. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next tutorial.